Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. It's me again, Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanoi. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good all the time. God is good. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. So it's another time again, the Lord have made it. In this evening time, it's uh, almost seven. God bless you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Thank you to see you again. Thank you to see me again. We thank all our mighty God for everything he has been doing for us. Since we wake up in the morning and up to now, we are still alive. We thank God for that. Okay. Let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Jehovah Jireh, in Jesus' name. Father Lord, we come to you, Jehovah, and ask you for forgiveness. We repent our sins. And we repent our sins and we rebuke all the sins we have been doing. We didn't know we knew it, O oh God. Forgive us because we are sinners. Forgive us and wash us with the blood of Jesus. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters who are watching me right now. I pray for them, O oh Lord. You forgive them too in the name of Jesus. I pray for my family too and I myself. Forgive me too, Lord, in Jesus' name. We cover ourselves, all of us, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray right now we are going to minister your work, Jehovah Jireh. Father, Lord, I pray you send the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ to come down and guide us in this ministering your word right now in the name of Jesus. No weapon will prosper in this time when we are praying in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, Lord, and say thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my sisters and my brothers, today, in this evening time, the Lord has made it again. The Lord has called me. He has chosen me to talk with you and to share this word of Lord together. Yes. So, um, you know, there are many people... Um, there are many people who don't believe that Jesus is Lord. There are many people who don't believe that this world we are living is not our home. You know why? Why am I saying that? Because this world, it has its own, its owner. And the owner is the Lord who made the heaven and earth. So, I am saying that because sometimes when I sit so and think, where are we coming from and where are we going? Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, I always say there is time of loving and it's time for crying. You see? And there is time for to be born and to die. And there is time for beginning and end. There is time for starting and finishing. So, our father who made the heaven and earth, he started, he made the heaven and earth. But the first day he made the heaven and earth, there is a day. This earth, this one, it will finish. It will be end. But there are many people who they don't believe. Mostly people who have, let me talk. Not, I'm not talking about you, but let me tell the truth. Because the truth is bitter. The, mostly people who have money and they have not given their life to Jesus Christ they know that they have everything but it's not a lie it is not everything of the end there is beginning and there is finishing this is what I'm saying because when you, you can see when a baby when a baby is born hallelujah just a moment Yes. Okay. All right. When a baby is born, it's just a small, small baby. When 
the baby is born one day, okay, and then another day, you see that baby growing, 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 okay? That baby is not going to remain a baby. That baby is going to grow up and is going to be a grown up person. And that baby will continue growing. It will be a big, uh, it will be a big man or a big woman and will continue. And there is a day. He or her it will be old and he cannot make it again. Because all everything in the body, the flesh, the, the knocken, the, the, um, oh, shatalaba, kindaraba, um, the bones, the bones are, are old. The flesh is old. The blood is old. Even the teeth itself, they are very old. They are just falling down. They will fall down, all of them. Everything, everything will fall. No teeth, no more. Even the eyes itself will never look again, never see. You see, and even the movements, the body is going to be so painful, you know, and you need help in this moment because your time has come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And when you are old, there is a place. It will be the end because when you are born, it was just beginning. And the way is going. There are two ways, oh, my sister, my brother. There is two ways. Oh, there is two ways. The way of narrow. And the way of Satan. The way of hell. So there are two things you have to choose it earlier. Right now before the time come. Because when the time come. My friend. It will maybe be too late for you. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. It is better you give your life to Jesus Christ. Because I say that. There are people who they don't believe. That this world. There is a beginning. And there is end. There is a beginning and there is end. Even if you see, even a tree, when the tree is plant, it, is, it looks very nice, very soft. And later, for some years, maybe uh, 10 years, there are difference of trees, you know. Even human beings, there are difference. There are some who they will end before they, they get old. So there are trees with which they can stand, and they can stand. And if you go and see that tree, and imagine those times when they plant it, it was a very soft one, even the leaves were soft. But if you cut this tree, you will see that it's having, we call it in German, falten. It's having some scratch, some crack. It's no more smooth. It is old, and it is the time. One day that tree will fall down. Yes. One day it will fall down. And when it will fall down, it will be the end. So even human beings, we ourselves, we are human beings. We can talk, we can move, we can do things, and we can think. We have minds to understand. But you know something like a tree, like animals, like a, a, a birds or fish, they cannot think. They are just living. Yeah, for them it's okay. But human beings, we are made with God to worship Lord and to serve Lord. And you know what? If we don't serve Lord and to worship Lord, to repent our sins, to give our life to Jesus Christ, when that time comes, there are two ways. My brother, my sister, you have to choose the way which you like. Because in, in this moment, there are many preachers who are preaching. All of them are not the same. Who. There are some who are preaching lie. And there are some who are preaching truth. So it is you to decide yourself, how did you hear? Did you hear lie? Did you hear truth? Did you believe what the servant of God is talking is true or is a lie? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, all, even the Bible itself say that there is a time it will come. Um, there will come false prophets. They will come and tell you, I am prophet, I am a seer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, we have to be aware. And I'm preaching about beginning and the end. So that you can understand what I mean. If now it's the beginning I've started. And we are still living in this world. And this world it belongs to God. He's the owner. There is a day he will take his world. He will clean it. He will clean it. He will clean everything. That is why sometimes you see there are some things like. Um, like etiquette. Like rain. Like tsunami. Like those many things. Yes. Forget about that one first. I'm talking about the way of narrow. And the way of hell. You see, there are two ways. Somebody, you have to decide it because these things of this world, they can make somebody to be blind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It can make somebody to be blind. 
So you cannot see. You have eyes, but you cannot see. It is the time for you, my brother and my sister, to ask God to give you eyes of Holy Spirit so that you can see what the other people are seeing, so that you can see what the Christian are seeing, so you can feel it. You can feel it, my friend, oh. Because that day when it will come, when the Lord come, when the trumpet blow, that it will be the time the Lord is coming back. Many people, they don't believe it, that there is a day, this world will have end. This world, there is a day, my sister, my brother. You like it or not, you hear me, you don't want to hear me, don't mind about me. But I'm telling you the truth. I'm not commanding you, but I'm telling you because the Lord has chosen me to preach this word. The Lord has chosen me to preach the gospel, to tell you the truth. Yes, because this world is not our home. It is not our home. And I was saying from beginning, there are many people, they don't believe it. But if something happens, they say, oh my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even that, is, even that who have not given his life to Jesus Christ, oh he knows that God is there, but they don't want to obey God. But this is the time to obey God because it's end time. It is end time. My sister, my brother, where are we going to go? Nobody wants to go to hell. Everybody wants to make heaven. But there are some they don't want to make it because they don't understand. You know why? They don't understand because even they won't understand. Even if we tell them they won't understand. That is why they can't understand. This world is not our home, my brother, my sister. Yes? This is the time to preach the word of Lord. Tell the people the truth. Don't tell the people because, don't preach the word of Lord because you want money. I'm telling you that because many they preach, but they still want that money. Tell the people the truth. There are many ways to preach the word of Lord. You can preach through YouTube. You can preach through telephone in uh, WhatsApp. You can preach directly in your phone to call somebody. And to ask the person if he's born again, maybe you know a friend before, when you are in the world. My sister, my brother, the time has come. The time of the end has come. Because this is just beginning. Don't think it is end. You, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister. It is end time. It may be too late. Because I'm telling you, there is the honor. He will come. Yay! He will come, oh. Uh -uh. You don't want to believe me. He will come. There is a day he will come. Jehovah. Our father. Our God. Who made the heaven and earth. Forget about uh, theologies and scientific people. They say they can fly to the moon. They say there is another planet in the moon. They say there is another planet in the water. There is another planet in the desert. It is okay. No problem. But let me tell you there is the honor. Our Father, Almighty God, who made the heaven and earth, he was not made. He will come one day and take his children. He said, I will come. And he said, even before he come, there are many things will happen. Yes? In this moment, I was just preaching about beginning. Hallelujah. And end. Amen. I will read it for you in the Bible. First of all, I wanted you to wake up. Yes, my sister, my brother, the time of the Lord Jehovah have come. Jesus Christ say he will come one day. He will come one day, one day. Nobody will believe that day because that day will be a hey. For, for Christians who they have given their life to Jesus Christ, they are born again. And they obey the word of God. And, and, and they hear the word of God, repenting their sins, praying Lord and repenting their sins, humbling themselves, lo loving each another. Those are not the ones who they will meet Jesus now. Yes. If you just say you are a hala, you are, you are just somebody who you boast yourself because you feel that you have reached in the end. It's not yet. It is just beginning. The end is the time when the Lord Jesus Christ will come. He is coming to open the way for everybody and there is judgment. He is the one to decide it. It is not you and it's not me. My sister, my brother, be ready, yo. Are you ready? If you are not ready, be ready. I am telling you, I, Sister Magdalene, I'm telling you what the Holy Spirit of Lord Jesus Christ is telling me to tell you today. This world is not our home. There is the end. There is the end, and it will come. There is the end, it will come. My brother, my sister, thank you. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you too. 
and Jesus loved me too. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you.